Well, we've been working with screens in some of my recent tutorials. Today we're going to see how you can view real time and interact with other users logged onto the same server. So if you and somebody else are in different places and you're trying to help them with something, show them how to do something, or if you just want to watch what they're doing, uh, as long as you're both logged into the same machine and they have screen running, you can watch and interact with them. So let's start off by starting up screen by typing screen. I'll hit enter there. So here we have a screen session running. Let me open up another terminal here. And let me resize this so we can see what's going on here. And if I type in screen dash ls, and I have to be the same user at this point to see what's going on, uh, you can see that uh, there is a session running. They are attached to it, and that this is the process ID for it right here. 4017. So now if I type in screen dash x and type in that process ID and hit enter, you can see that we are now connected. So if I start typing here, you can see it happening in the other terminal. And it goes the other way as well. Let me resize this so we can see both at the same time, kind of, sort of. So if I start doing stuff here, you can see it in the bottom one. I can list stuff out. I can clear the screen. I can do the same over here. I can start typing stuff. I can move to other directories. I can clear the screen. So these are two different windows. So if you had two users logged in, uh, preferably through an SSH uh, server, uh, and someone's running a screen session, uh, that user, someone with the same username, can log into that same session view what they're doing and interact with them so you can help guide someone along if maybe they're learning bash or just learning command line uh, in general uh, you can interact with them without actually being there um, so that's another feature of screen and there's more to come thank you for watching please visit filmsbychris.com that's chris with a k there's a link in the description have a great day